So, good morning, everyone. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Good morning, teacher. Ah. All right, thank you. So, today our topic is uh, our subject is Western culture, and we are going to uh, study about the iconic person in Western culture. Okay, so the last time we learned about Shakespeare, which is they are one of the treasure in in when we talk about literature. Okay, so this uh, this person also that we are going to learn is one of the iconic uh, iconic person as well. All right, so. He also contributed when it comes to literature, okay, and especially in science fiction genre, okay. It can be story, film, or um, a book. So let's go ahead and learn who is this person. All right. So as I, as I mentioned, he is um, he is known for uh, his contribution in literature, in science fiction. All right, and also in poetry. All right, so he he wrote um, a short poems. So now, who is this person? So this person is no other than Edgar Allan Poe. So Edgar Allan Poe was an American writer, poet, editor, and literary critic. Poe is the best known for his poetry and short stories particularly his tales of mystery and the macabre all right born in january 1809 in boston massachusetts united states and he died in october 7 1949 at uh, church home and hospital baltimore maryland united states and the name of his wife is Virginia Eliza Clem Poe. And the short stories that he wrote is The Black Cat and The Telltale Heart. Now, let's have someone to read this again for us. So, let's have theme from 5 slash 5, 22. Wow. Okay, please uh, read. Uh -huh. Edgar Allen Poe was an American poet, was an American writer, poet, 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 editor, and literary, literary. Literary critic Poe is best known for his poet poetry 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 mm -hmm. and short stories particularly his tales of mastery mystery mystery yes and uh, Maca ma macabre macabre okay macabre kadai macabre kadai macabre okay yes born january um 1809 1809 Boston, Massachusetts, United States, died October 7, 1849. Mm, sure, sure. Church, 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 home. And hospital, Baltimore, 
มาริแลนด์ยูเนเต็ดสเตสอันนี้สปอนส์สปาวส์สปาวส์เวอร์เวอร์เวอร์จิเนียเวอร์จิเนียเวอร์จิเนียโอเคเอลิซาเคลมเคลมโอเคลมโอช็อตสตอรี่ส์เดอะแบล็กแคทแอนด์เดอะเทลทอลเดอะเทลเทลเทลเทลเทลเทลเทลฮาร์ดฮาร์ดอะไรทั้งคิดขอบคุณฟิล์มสำหรับวันนี้ทุกคนรู้แล้วว่าคนนี้คือใครโอเค He actually contributed in literature, uh, in literature, science, fiction, all right, genre, and also in poetry. So that is Alan Poe. Now, to know more about him, okay, I prepared a video here. Now let's go ahead and know about him more. Edgar Allan Poe was a master of the macabre. He wrote horror. He wrote poetry, criticism, fiction, mystery. He was a master of suspense. Edgar Allan Poe, called by many the father of the detective story, was born on January 19, 1809, in Boston, Massachusetts. When Poe was two years old, his mother passed away, and his father had already abandoned the family. He was taken in as a foster child by the Allen family. He was writing poetry from about the time that he was 13. He kept writing all the time. He worked very, very hard at his writing and wrote constantly. In 1826, Poe enrolled at the University of Virginia. He went into debt. He gambled to try to pay off those debts and found himself in even greater debt and ultimately had to withdraw from the university. In 1830, Poe enrolled at West Point. After West Point, Poe turned to writing full time and lived in a number of East Coast cities before settling down in Richmond, Virginia. Edgar Allan Poe secretly married his 13-year-old cousin and then in 1836 publicly married her in a more open ceremony. He loved her very, very much. They lived together always until, alas, she died of tuberculosis when she was, I guess, around 20. Poe's primary occupation as a writer was as a literary critic. He worked at several newspapers and literary magazines, and he had quite a reputation for being a harsh critic. One of his editors called him the Tomahawk Man. During his lifetime, he barely made a living from his writing. Poe published some of his most famous short stories in his 1840 collection, Tales of the Grotesque and Arabesque. He wrote some of his stories using the first person and talking about the use of opium, so people assumed that he dabbled in drugs. The stories were so creepy, they were ghost stories taken to such a brilliant extreme that people thought he had to be a little strange himself. Poe invented detective fiction when he wrote The Murders in the Rue Morgue in 1841. Murders in the Rue Morgue really deserves to be called the first detective story. It started the whole tradition of detective fiction. The Raven, which was published in 1845, was his huge breakthrough. It became a big bestseller. Poe's career very much went up and down until he really hit The Raven. And that poem was known by, you know, <laughs> it seems everyone in the world. It had an enormous press. On October 7, 1849, Edgar Allan Poe died at the age of 40 under mysterious circumstances. Poe's death may be one of the most bizarre things about his life. He left Virginia on his way to New York, disappeared. A week later, he was found on the streets of Baltimore. We don't have a single piece of information about what he was doing. At the end of that week, he was found in a tavern, ill, drunk, and was taken to a hospital. It turned out he was wearing clothes that didn't belong to him, and a couple of days later, he died in a delirium. Nobody knows exactly what killed him. Edgar Allan Poe's legacy in American literature is very detectable in all of the mystery dramas and stories we have, and all the kind of horror and vampire 
work that we see that there is that trace of the sort of horror and mystery that Poe really was able to harness in his writing. Poe is an American icon. I think he's more than a writer. Even today, more than 150 years after he died, everybody loves Edgar Allan Poe. All right, so that is the short video that we have for Alan Poe. So now let's, uh, we will know more about him uh, with our article. But for now, let's go ahead and learn some vocabularies for us to be able to understand the article. So the first vocabulary that we have is Okay, I, as I mentioned earlier, there are two ways on how to read this word. Macabre or macabre. Okay? But for now, we are going to use macabre. So everyone, repeat after me. Macabre. 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 Okay. Okay, again. Macabre. Macabre. Okay, macabre, how does it spell? M A C A B R E. Alright, so let's have one to read the meaning of macabre. Uh, okay, you to describe. Describe. Describe something that is very strange and unpleasant. And unpleasant because it is connected. With dead or violence. Okay, so macabre meaning used to describe something that is very strange. Okay, strange meaning uh, it's not familiar. Okay, you don't know what is the uh, what is it, and unpleasant. Unpleasant meaning it's not happy. My kwamsok na, because it is connected with death or violence. So most of the writings of Alan Poe is macabre, okay? So the story, it's like a love story, but at the end of the story, the other person died. Alright, now let's go to our next vocabulary. We have orphan, okay? Everyone repeat after me. Orphan. 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 Alright, so when we say orphan, okay, Jinjila, uh... Please read. Okay. Ah, uh, shy. Wood. Pa parent. Uh, parents. Parents. Ah, uh, dead. Okay. So orphan meaning is a child whose parents are dead. Dead pa wa tay leo. Okay. Orphan. Okay. So when you lost your mom and dad, especially at your young age, maybe you're ten years old and your mom and da, mom and dad died, so you will be called as an orphan. All right. So orphan. How does it spell? Everyone. O R A P A N. Okay. How do you read it? Orphan. Orphan. Okay, next vocabulary we have is tales. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Tales. 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 Okay, tales, how does it spell? T A L E S. Tales. 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 Alright. So tales um pan five slash five number ten please read a story is specially one that might be inverted or difficult 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 to believe all right so tales meaning a story especially one that might be invented or difficult to believe so like maleficent. Maleficent is a tale story, all right? Meaning it's not true, okay? It is only invented, all right? Uh, there are many tales. Uh, we have fairy tales. We have Tinkerbell, okay? We have, uh, what else? Uh, 
Snow White. All right, so those are tales of story. All right, next let's have alcoholism. Okay, again na, repeat after me. Alcoholism. 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 Okay, again, ready, go. Alcoholism. Alcoholism. Okay, alcoholism. How does it spell? All right. So let's have five slash five number twenty seven. Five slash five twenty seven. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Uh, what's your nickname? Again, teacher. Okay, what's okay, your, nick really your nickname? Leo. Uh, Leo. Okay, Leo. Uh, please read. And. Oh. Okay. The condition of being. Being and. Alcoholic. Alcoholic. Okay, thank you, Leo. So, alcoholism is the condition of being an alcoholic. So, as you can see in our picture, okay, if you drink too much alcohol, okay, you drink Leo, drink Lai Chang, Lau Kao, okay, if you drink that always, like morning, night, okay. You will be called as alcoholic. All right. Now let's go to our next vocabulary. We have mystery. Okay. Okay. Repeat after me. Mystery. 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 Okay. Let's. Um, mystery. How does it spell? M. Y. S. Y. Y. All right. So let's have five slash five number twelve. Uh, this is my. Ah, uh, my. Oh, sorry. Okay, my. Please read. Something st strange. Strange or not? No, there has not yet. Yes, been explained. Explained or un. Understood. 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 Okay, thank you so much, Mai. So, mystery meaning something strange or not known that has not yet been explained or understood. So, as you can see in our picture here, okay, I use mystery box. All right, it it is called mystery box because we don't know what's inside. Okay. Unless we open the box, that's the time that uh, we will know the item, okay? Unless, okay, this uh, the same as uh, Poe's story, okay? His story is full of mystery, okay? Uh, it needs to be explained for us to understood or to understand his writing. Alright, next, let's go ahead with our next. So, we have fiction okay everyone repeat after me fiction fiction okay fiction okay fiction how does it spell F -I -C -T -I -C -T -I all right so fiction let's have game where are you i'm here you sure okay game please read the time of book or story that is written about okay. imaginary characters and events and not based on real people and fact, fact, facts facts okay so game w r i t t e n you read it as written my tongue written na written okay good so fiction is the type of book or story that is written about imaginary characters and events and not based on real people and facts facts meaning it's 
true okay it's not true okay so fiction fiction story or book is not real not true my my, my thing uh, my I, I'm not sure how you really say it in Thai but uh, my uh, my two not correct okay so as you can see uh, can you tell me a movie that is fiction do you know any movie that is fiction series that my teacher series die what what is the title um I think do you you don't know it, huh? Teacher. What's that Thai series? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Can you just tell us the the title of the movie or series? Nano. Yeah. Ah, na oh, Nano! I like Nano. I watched that. Nano. All right. Um, Aladdin. Do you think it's fiction or not? Aladdin, la. Yes, is it fiction or not? Fiction. Yes, it is fiction because there is no flying carpet in real life. All right. Now let's go to our next vocabulary. So we have author. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Author. 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 Okay, how author. does it spell? All right. So let me call from Mohakab Mohakab C number thirteen. Oh, where are they? Tan author. What does it mean? Yes. Of the writer of a book, a call article, article, etc. etc. Okay, etc. Pewa meaning uh etc. Et okay, or the other word that we can use is many more. Okay, so. Author meaning the writer of a book, article, play, etc. So, as you can see, the textbook that you are using right now is written by those author or writer. Alright, now let's go to ahead with our next vocabulary. We have contribution. 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 Okay, how does it spell? C O A R I B I B U T I O N. All right. So let's uh, let's have five slash four number eight. Yeah. Okay. Please read. Uh, contribution. Contribution. Yes. Yes. Something. Something that you uh. Contribute, 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 or do to uh, help product or uh, achieve, achieve something together with other people or to help make something successful. Uh, successful. All right. Thank you so much. So con contribution. Okay. Contribution is something that you contribute or to do help produce or achieve something together with other people or help or to help make something successful okay so as you can see uh, in our picture okay in order for them to um, to uh, complete the puzzle okay they are putting all together they contribute the puzzle that they have okay so other other word that we can use as contribute meaning help okay we can use the word help now let's go to our next one so we have a complication repeat after me complication 
complication. All right. So complication. How does it spell? Z O M L I O N. Okay. So let me call from five slash five. Let me have. Okay. Number twenty three. What's your nickname? Tone. Okay, Tuon, please read something that make a situation a more difficult. Okay, good. So complication meaning something that makes a situation more difficult. So as you can see in our picture here, okay. So his situation is difficult. Okay, why? Because he is already old and he has also illnesses or health problems. So. He has heart problem, prostate problem, okay, heart problem. So, when he died, okay, the reason for his death is complication. So, this man died due to complication. So, meaning, this illnesses makes his life difficult. Alright, so... Let's go ahead with our next vocabulary. So, the next vocabulary that we have is concept. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Concept. 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 Okay, concept, how does it spell? C-O-N-C-E-P-T Alright. Okay, let me call 5 slash 4, 29. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's your nickname? Twenty nine. I. I. Okay. I. Please read. Principal on idea. All right. Thank you. I. So concept meaning a principle or idea. So concept in the other word or the simply yes word that we can use is idea. Okay. Or knowledge. All right. Now, let's go to our next vocabulary. Okay, the next one we have is fables. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Fables. Fables. Okay, fables, how does it spell? F-A-B-L-E-S. Fables. Alright. So, let's have... Can? Can? Huh? <laughs> oh, me, okay. me, me, Can, <laughs> please read. A short story that tells. Tells. Tells a modern truth. A truth often used in animals as char characters. Char character. Okay, thank you, Can. So, fables. Yes. Um. In other words, fables is a short story that tells a moral truth, often using animals as characters. So, I don't know if you heard the the fable, okay, the fable of the turtle and the rabbit. So, they are talking about like will arrive first in the finishing line. And the one who won on that competition is the turtle. Okay, so meaning even though you're slowly, as long you will not stop, you will be able to uh, finish the finish line. Alright, now let's go to our next vocabulary. Okay, the last one we have is criticism. Repeat after me, criticism. Criticism. <laughs> Again, criticism. Criticism. All right. Criticism. How does it spell? C I T I C I S M. Maybe O Jinjila. Okay. One. Can you please read it for us? An opinion. Given about something or someone, ESP, especially, especially, a negative opinion, or the 
activity of making such just, uh, just men. judgments that means all right so as you can see um criticism is an opinion given about something or someone especially or uh, especially a negative opinion or the activity of making such judgment example you did something and then i will say ah you're doing good so that's one of criticism it can be uh, Negative, okay. If you did, if you did something, and I would say, no, that's not good. You are doing bad, okay. Your idea, your concept is not good. So that is criticism. All right. Now let's go ahead with our article. So for our article, I will read first, and then after that, first paragraph is one, second paragraph is game, third paragraph is pan, okay. So let's go ahead and read it. Okay, Edgar Allan Poe is an American author famous for his tales of mystery and made a big contribution in the science fiction genre. He was born on January 19, 1809 in Boston, Massachusetts. He became an orphan before he was three and was taken care of by John and Frances Allen in Richmond, Virginia. Some of his well-known tales are The Balloon Hoax, The Murders in the Row Morgue, and, the, and many others. He also wrote poems such as The Raven and The Haunted Palace. His poems, fables, and tales appeals to the reader's emotions and casually gain, gains criticism because of its theme and concept. Allan Poe died on October 7, 1949 due to complications brought about by alcoholism. Poe's works as a poet, critic, and editor made a huge impact and influence in the world literature. Okay, please start now. First paragraph. Uh, and Edgar Allan Poe is an American author famous for his tales of mystery and made and made a big contribution in a science fiction genre. He was born on January uh, 1989 in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. He became he became, became he became an orphan before he was three and was talking cat or about John and Francis Allen in in this small Virginia. 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 Okay next game. Some of his well-known tales are the balloon horse, the murders in the Roman, and many others. He also wrote poems such as the living and the haunted palette. His poems were and tales appear. Appeals appears to the reader's emotions and usually gains criticism criticism because of its theme and concept. Okay, game theme game, theme theme and concept. And then oh, die on October seven eighteen. 49 do to complications brought about by alcoholism polls works at a point critic 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 and editor made a hat 
Huge. Huge. Yes. Huge. <laughs> impact and in influence influence yes. yes okay involve lit, lit literature lit, literature all right thank you so much film uh, one and game now let's go ahead with our uh, structure so the first structure that we have is who is Edgar Allan Poe? Okay, so you will answer. He is an okay according to our according to our article. Second question we have is what is his big contribution? So you will answer. His big contribution is so in our article. Okay, his big contribution is okay. So for our first question, let's have Pan. Okay, one from five slash five, Pan and uh, and number twelve, uh, Mai. Okay, Pan and Mai from five slash four. Okay, let's have Game and uh, Jinjila. Okay, Pan and Mai, please start. Mai. Okay. Who is Uncle Alan Poe? He is an American author, poet, and literary critic. Alright. Second question. What is his big contemplation? His uh, contribution. Contribution. Contribution is Said Chara. Aumaina. His big contribution. He big's contribution is science fiction, science fiction genre. genre. All right. Okay. Now next, let's have game and Jinjila. Okay, game. <laughs> Who is Jinjila Allen Poe? He is. He is an. American author who retired. Wait, wait. He is an American author. American author who and who is an literary critic. Literary critic. Okay. Next, second question. What is his big contribution? His big contribution is science fiction genre. Okay, yes, that is correct. All right, so class, let's go ahead and play uh, play the game. Okay, first. Okay, I hope that you remember something from the vocabulary of our topic. And let me just share my. Okay, let me share it. Okay. okay, listen. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, what can you see? Uh, and Graham for quick game. Okay, quiz game. Okay, so are you ready for the game? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's start. Okay, you choose a number, any number. No, uh, number seven. Number seven. Uh, number seven first. Let's do number seven. Okay, so the question is He died at church home in Baltimore, Maryland, the United States, on what month? Duan Lagapi Alai. January 7, 1908. October 7, 1849. October 7. October 7. Letter B. Uh, yeah. Letter Alai. B. Okay, good job. That is correct. Okay, next number. 
Number one. Okay, let's see. Okay, something that makes a situation more difficult. What word is it? Hmm. Ah, uh, complication. Okay, what letter? So A. B. 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 Okay, an opinion given about something or someone, especially a negative opinion or the activity of making such judgments. See? Okay, Dido. Okay, next. What Huh? Two. Two. Number two. Huh? Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the writer of a book, article, play. Number C. Letter C. Hey. Number C. Hey. <laughs> Letter C. Okay, correct. Okay, next. What number? Number twelve. Ah, uh, twelve. Okay. Okay, a short story that tells a moral truth. Bebo, bebo. Letter? B. Good. Okay, next. What number? Number nine. Number nine. Okay. Yeah. The condition of being alcoholic. Alcohol. Letter A. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Yes. Okay, next number. Ten. Ten. Okay. The type of book or story that is written about imaginary characters. A. A. Sure. A. Fiction. Okay, fiction. All right. Good. Okay, next number. Number four. Number four. Yeah. Okay, a principle or idea. What's that? Concept mm -hmm. B. Okay, B concept. Good. Wait, are, do you really remember or you open your notebook? <laughs> do you remember? Uh? What number? Fourteen. Fourteen? Yeah, yeah. Fourteen. A story, especially oh. one, might be invented or difficult to believe. Huh? Tell. Yeah. Letter C. B. Okay. Chinchilla. Okay. Next number. T. Three. Okay. Three. Okay, something that you contribute to help produce or achieve something together with other people or to help make something successful. What do you think? <laughs> Let us see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good job. Correct. Okay, next. What number? 11. 11. Okay. Okay. Something strange or not known that has not yet been explained or understood. Mm. E. Hey, my, 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 my. E. Sure? Yeah. Sure. E. That's good. That's correct. Okay. Last four. Which number? Five. Five. Okay, five. Okay, which is not true? About Edgar Allan Poe. Anina, mm -hmm. American writer, poet, editor, literary critic, science fiction film director. Mm. What? Anina, my talk, my talk <laughs> of Edgar Allan Poe. Ah, nine. See? Then top, top, E, ha, E. E, okay. E, what, E, 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 E,
Okay, the correct answer is letter F. Letter F is a... Yes, letter F. 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 Yeah. Hey, um, science fiction... Ani, he contribute he contribute in science fiction, but he is not a film director. Film director, na? He is not film director. Okay. So... Kau jai mai? Okay. All right. So that's uh, that is our game for today. Thank you so much for cooperating. All right. So you got eleven out of fifteen. All right. Thank you so much and good job.